This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. Thank you once more to Fanhome for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 48 of Building Robocop. Uh, in this issue, we're, we're starting the spine. Uh, we've got the hips. The, put the leg on last time so now we're attaching the middle bit the lower lumbar support apparently um identify memories family yeah. all about memories and family and stuff like that that's what brought him back from the edge a couple of times all the words there so yes the pelvis part three we've got this to attach another ball joint to make up and then fit into the pelvis that we were doing last time uh, then i think next time we get to fit the other leg and then this front cover bit that goes over the top of it so yeah i do like how it all comes together it starts to make storage a little bit trickier but there we go uh we've got uh, a teacher called fable interesting little robot thing with uh, expressive eyes on what looked like a phone cool i'm all for bringing technology everywhere here we go, something about doing needles in stomachs. Edible robots. Yeah, it's in a space, isn't it? Here we go, all about that. Good stuff. Right, let's clear this out of the way and let's get this pelvis put together. Right, so we've got our parts. Uh, we've got the little uh, socket ball joint thing, exactly the same as normal. We put the big one in first, then the little one. Then the joint itself, and then that cover piece goes over the top there. We've got that held in place with four teeny tiny screws. Let me get my magnification on for those. Apologies again if my head is uh, getting in the shot and causing problems there, but you know, I do sort of need to be able to see what I'm doing. So let's use my tiny screwdriver for these. That will go on there, and that goes that way round. With these, it's obviously important to get them tight, but not so tight that the ball joint doesn't move. Although, obviously, this is quite an important part, because it's the entire weight of the body is going to be on this joint, with the arms and everything as well. Uh, so it does need to be tight. You're not going to be able to move it very much, if at all, with just this little wrongy piece sticking up from that. But once the entire body's on there, that's obviously going to be quite tight. There's actually not lots of movement on there. It's more rotational. Uh, but you do need to make sure they're tight, and they need to be tight in sequence. You can't just have one side tight. That won't work at all. So do make sure, if you're tightening these up, work your way around all four of them get them all equally secure They're balanced almost there i'm going to go much tighter than that that's oh, no, a lot tighter than that it's still far too sloppy and loose that let's go even tighter Probably tighter than that. Yeah, that I can feel very tight now, but not quite tight enough. Uh, I do want that rotated way though. It doesn't matter which way around. I, no, it doesn't matter which way around that goes, but this has got to be front facing. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to do it up. A bit more. This is again going to be a pain to try and get to again if you do need to tighten it or indeed loosen it but i go fairly tight on this pretty much as tight as i can there we go so that is that and now that yeah pretty much won't move my finger at the moment uh that needs to go onto this bit here 
just in there, right, so it does that matter which way around, it does, it has to be that way around, uh, which is okay, because then the screw comes right at the front, which is a good thing, uh, so that is held in place in there with two uh, of these, Ooh. make sure I'm still recording after dropping the foot on my, uh, on my buttons, yep, you can still see what I'm doing here, uh, so two of those are needed for that, I think I don't need more magnification for that bit. Turn it moves off so I can see a little bit wider what's going on. So that will go in there. I need to be able to see what I'm doing though. One screw on either side of that. Screwdriver holding the screw in the right place. So much easier. One there, and the other one over there. Good stuff. Once this is secure, we will be done for another issue. So I'm pretty sure, ah, broken, is that the other one, or is that the one that I already had broken? I shall go back and fix that as well, I knew that was going to happen, it's that loose little bit that's difficult all over the place, um, yeah, I should get that reattached on there, that's the one that was broken already, right, I'll get that fixed up as well, and come back and do the other one next time, so thanks for watching, stay safe, be careful with your loose bits. See you soon. Bye-bye for now.